Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import a existing DWG file into your solid edge software um, onto a drawing sheet. So in this case, I have solid edge 2020 open here. So the first thing we wanna do is do a new file. Uh, select the new option here. And I'm gonna come down, If it, depending on what you wanna create here, if you wanna do an inch or a metric type part drawing, uh, choose your option here. And then you're going to come over and select the ANSI inch draft uh, .dft file type here. So in this case, I'm going to do an inch drawing. And I'm going to hit OK here to accept that. So now that I have my inch drawing created, uh, what I want to do is import a an existing uh, sample drawing DWG file into this sheet. Uh, so you can easily do that. If you come over to, uh, I'm going to drag this uh, next Explorer window over. So we can see that. You'll see I have, I have a sample drawing file here, .dwg file, and that is a drawing. I'm gonna drag this into my sheet here in Solid Edge. So all I have to do is left mouse button down, drag my drawing into my Solid Edge window onto my sheet, and then let go of my left mouse button. And you'll see a preview of your drawing now inside of your Solid Edge. I'm gonna go ahead and move this window back out of the way so we can see what I'm doing here. So now you can see it's going to follow. If you move your cursor, the actual imported drawing is following the cursor. And you can go ahead and place that down if you'd like to anywhere on your drawing sheet. Uh, once you place that, you'll get another additional option here. You can go ahead and place another copy if you want. But if you want to cancel this, just hit your escape key. And that's going to clear that out. So now you can see we have our solid edge drawing uh, with the imported DWG drawing inside of that drawing sheet. Uh, additionally, if you want to turn off this or resize your format uh, to fit your imported format or your imported drawing, all we have to do is come down to the sheet option here, right click, and then we can go down to the uh, set uh, sheet setup option, the first option here on the bottom. Uh, we want to go into the background and we want to turn off our format. Unless you want to use this format from Solid Edge or one of your existing template formats uh, that you might have already created. Uh, you want to turn this off if you're going to use the format that's already on the imported drawing sheet. Um, if not, you'll leave that on and we'll rescale this. I can see this is a C size drawing that I imported and I want to scale my solid edge drawing down to that size. So I'm going to change, go to the size tab. And I'm going to change my standard size here for my drawing sheet to a C size wide, which will be 22 by 17 inches. And because I don't want to show the background, the uh, the solid edge template background, I'm going to turn that off with that toggle there and hit OK. So now you can see my solid edge sheet has scaled down to a C size drawing. I've turned off that background template, solid edge template, and I'm going to reposition my imported drawing file or imported drawing sheet uh, so it's lined up with this solid edge drawing sheet. So to do that, you can quickly um, select that left mouse button down and select that imported block of information. And I'm going to zoom up to the corner here so I can get this right down to the point, right down to the corner here. All you have to do is left mouse button down on that point and you can drag this until you're set up on that corner of your solid edge drawing sheet and release that left mouse button. So now you can see I've imported my uh, existing DWG file into a new Solid Edge drawing file. And this is on the drawing sheet in Solid Edge file. If you want to go ahead afterwards, you can go ahead and edit this. When you do import these uh, uh, these DWG files into Solid Edge, they will come in as a uh, one continuous block feature. So you can see when I highlight, my, move my cursor over, it highlights everything in that sheet. If you want to break this up uh, and divide those, so all you have to do is right click and select the unblock option here. This is gonna convert the selected block occurrence back into individual geometric elements as the description shows there. <clears throat> Once you have that uh, completed, now you will see, if I move my cursor over these different elements, you can see they are all separate elements now. And you can delete, select those and delete the elements you don't want and move, uh, move the different elements around uh, individually on the drawing sheet now.